Good morning. New Year's Eve. This is the last one for nine, for 2016. I nearly said 19. Show my age. Right, here we are. Lemon yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, paints grey and burnt sienna. 45ml Ron Manson Large Hake. The Ron Man Large, The Ron Manson Hake by Pro Art. Uh, Tell in me. Oh, that's a soaking wet. I'll have to put another one in there. That's dry. Just old face flannels, I think. These are. They do soak up a lot of water, and I put it in the. Uh, I don't like holding them. It makes my hands and my skin go too dry. Right. Uh, don't know what I'm going to do. Probably a lake scene or Seven Islands. I like love Seven Islands. It's my local beauty spot or one of them. I wouldn't want you to think that I live in a deprived area, but far from it. It's just that we're on the edge of uh, London and the south, southeast of London, <coughs> and in quite a, a nice suburb. But uh, we we have parks. We don't have open countryside, but nearby. In Wellington, where I live, there are small holdings that I think were created after the First World War for returning soldiers, and they're very desirable uh, wooden clapboard build, uh, dwellings for small holdings, and uh, people wait for ten years to get hold of one. And that's all lovely countryside going out towards Banstead, Oaks Park, and then into the Surrey countryside. On the Surrey Hills, but nearby, because it's it's my local landscape, we have Mitcham Common, on which is Seven Islands, which, as you know, I've painted many times, or I've painted my versions of it. <coughs> I don't copy, I try not to copy, I'm not very good at it. I, I just try to make paintings. And we've also got the River Wandle, which is a, a, a Surrey chalk stream, it's more than a stream. And it's quite, it's quite, uh, it's, it's fast flowing. It's 16 miles long and it runs into the Thames. Uh, it all meanders its way to the Thames and was a very much abused industrial river, river in the 19th century. But now, is, uh, with lots of money having been spent on it, is a wonderful, wonderful resource, which me, with my mates on Tuesday mornings, we do a bike ride along it, well, along parts of it anyway. We're too old to do the 26 miles every week. We could do it, but but it's uh, we we like just to do the uh, the half the half one to Merton Abbey Mills, Mill, to the lovely cafe there, and have a cup of tea, which we've been been doing for many years now. So, white paper syndrome. Looking at it, wondering how I'm going to do it, what I'm going to. I'm just going to wet the paper and just get stuck in. Because I've done it lots of times, or this sort of scene lots of times, I, I've got a sort of a memory. I haven't got a good memory, I haven't really got a good imagination. It's, it's all come with effort, a lot of effort. Okay, so this practice, if you can't do it with the hake, if you can't do it, it's because you haven't done enough of it. If I can do it, you can do it. I just didn't quit when I couldn't do it. I carried on. And I'm glad I did. I got a lot of pleasure out of it. This, the only painting I've done for four years is, is on YouTube. It's my sort of project. It just keeps me out of mischief. Cheers, cup of tea. <coughs> right, okay, so we'll put a bit of Bit of sienna over this. Let's just just to give it a bit of a tint, a bit of a warm, beautifying, warm colour that will dry much lighter than goes on. Right, let's uh, put a bit of blue. Put water down here, and we'll put in. Bit of cloud on that. So, but it's quite a small tray. You can't always get a, a, a bit as much wash as you want to go all over in one sort of sweep. And it tends to make the clouds 
a bit uh, small. So Okay, so that's my sky. Just get that in there. I'm going to dry dry this now. I'll just reclip it. You don't need to stretch your paper. Just reclip it. It's 130 pound Fabiano, which I buy in blocks of 100 sheets. Yeah, you can see where I've overworked it. So you have to be very careful with your washers. If you wash over a wash, over a wash, you can have accidents. It doesn't matter, I can, I can put a tree up into there. Right, let's uh, put a background now. Uh, we'll, we'll put a bit of a hilly background in, I think. So let's... Right, put in a bit of bit of sienna, bit of burnt sienna, bit of raw sienna. That's a okay, so we've got a quite an interesting. Now you need if you're working on wet, wet in wet again, you need to go thick with the paint. Look. I've, I've given this a spray before I started. I might not even do seven islands now. I'm quite happy just changing it as I go. Got plenty of thick paint on there. Really good. Look, I'm just dipping into the, to the paint that's now softening on, the, on my palette. Get a nice bit of sealer on there. Let's put something in here. We'll put an island or something. Try and keep me hike nice chisel edge. Okay, so let's put some darker, richer colour. Bit of light red and a bit of bit of lemon yellow, and I can scrape into that. Okay, so that's a sort of a beach over there, and we do something the other side. Well, I'm going to reach into that. Right, so that's a that's a start. Now we get the card. Let's just. Oh, I'm going to put put in some rocks here.
Right, okay. Reclip. Just raise that, that one up a little bit with a bit of Bill's Fiona. Okay, just get a nice rich green in there. Right. I like doing that. Just, just a little flick with finger, fingernail. Right now we'll we'll come into the foreground now. Well, I'm going to do some more in here, but just want to just get some foreground colour. So let's let's warm up as we come. No, I don't want to do dry brush on that. Warm up. I used to use a, a big butcher's tray. This is these are food display trays. That's how they're labelled in on eBay anyway. They're very cheap, and you can buy them. If, you can get a couple of them. I do, but they last forever. The, all these I know I've done them loads of times, but they all end up differently. You know, that's, I'm using thicker paint. That's got a bit of a, we'll, we'll put a bit of foreground in underneath this, I think. Made the brush strokes a bit even there, so I'm just trying to disguise them. Right, okay. Well, uh, I like that. I don't really want to get a clutter up that foreground now. I quite like that. <coughs> we can add some detail on it. Some little boats. This is all of a, just a, the basis of of uh, of a painting. Put some bluey colour there. Just using the corner of the hake. Just to add some bit of detail. I don't want any detail on that bit. I quite like the way that's sort of blended and there's quite a bit of colour in that. There's blue, Payne's grey, a bit of alizarin and a, and a bit of sienna and burnt sienna. Okay, so let's uh, uh, put in a little bit of reflection, I think. Not a lot, it's just... Do that, I'll do that, I'll do. Just don't do any more than that. We could do a bit, bit, bit of reflection in here. Right, and then we'll use a, a rigger now, I think. Just to flick up some uh, some stuff. Oh, 
just using the sides of the brush, the edge of the brush, just flick up. It's nothing really, it's just <coughs> just use a bit of paint grey and a bit of sienna. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Just wet that again, I want some rocks there. So what you put up, bring down. Oops, a bit hard. Just something coming from off stage. You, you can get quite a thick line with a bigger look. Just a, a sort of a a dead sort of tree, what's left of it, just to add a bit of interest in that corner. Not that I'll compete with it on the other, but we'll put something there. That'll do, that'll do. No more. We seem to be going up a hill a bit there, but I don't know. Uh, right, okay, now um, some little boats, we'll use this small rigger. Just have these beach boats here. Just some very far faint one here. Okay. Uh, be careful. Be careful, Dave. Let's have a beach boat in here. rowing boat that's all I'm not going to do much more than that really I quite like that as it is put a little bit of a maybe a couple of little yachts or something now just wet I've got a tube of white gouache here let's just Just a little bit of uh, st 
stuff and I'll give it a signature if it's worth it. But Don't forget, always sign your work, but even if you don't think it's very good, someone else will love it. <coughs> and in this game, there's no accounting for taste. What one person likes, somebody else won't. We all see things differently. <coughs> right, let's put the old mount on. So there we are, we've got another. I can have my mount slightly twisted so that it straightens up the horizon a bit. So there we are, another, I wouldn't say nondescript, but it's a, it's a peaceful sort of quiet scene and I like doing them. Now, I might give Alan Owen a ring. I know most of you listen to watch Alan, Alan's work. He's a superb teacher and a very good friend. It's amazing how many friends you make online, isn't it? Right, okay, well, a happy new year to you all and I look forward to seeing you sometime next week. Goodbye.